What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMac and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So I was thinking about some things that we could do today. I've been pretty busy um, all this week getting ready for the tournaments. Got uh, the one coming up next week in uh, Morristown, New Jersey. And then we got another one coming in August. But um, anyway, got a little bit of time right now. And I was thinking to start off with, I think I want to get some nether portals linked up. I want to fix that spider farm one and get one linked up to the slime farm. So let's start off with that. And then I'll think about what I want to do. All right. So down in the slime farm trying to figure out I think I'm gonna stick the portal in right here I think it's a nice more or less even spot for where we're gonna have it so let's just get this baby in and do I have yes thank you get her lit up nice and then we got to go back in the nether and make another one also while we're here um Thank you all so much for the great comments. It seems like uh, people are definitely kind of going, leaning the same way I was with the uh, wooden stairs. So I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to hold off, though, on fixing it until we have all the new colors so that we can, you know, experiment with all of that. And it seems like everybody likes the pixel art. I do, um, some people are saying that I should switch the... Uh, make the greater body of the slime all the lighter the lime green color and then uh, use the darker for the outline so i might try that um but i think for now i really liked using the grass for the um the larger section of it and then also people are saying i could do some shading around the eyes which is probably so so i'll experiment with that more again later but anyway let's get the rest of these portals all set up all right, I got the correct coordinates, so I'm going to stick her in right here, and hopefully she will work. I have not tried it out yet, but and I was butzing around. It's got to update this so that I can try and keep with the same theme as the rest. It's kind of complicated, though, when it comes down like this. I didn't really like I wanted to keep it even with this portal, but um, it only goes one out, so... Well, I'll play with it, and I'll show you. But let's see if this baby works. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I'm so sick of going up that ladder thing. So now, let's make sure that she links back. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. And then really quickly, I also marked out where the spider spawner one should actually be. And I started working on this one as well. Oh, you pain in the ass. I hate you. I didn't sure if I have a bow on me. Quick, 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 quick. You punk ass, stop it! You're breaking my thing! Alright, good. Put out the fire! Alright. Alright. So let's stick this one in quick. And see if it matches up better with the spider one. I had mentioned before, the uh, portal that linked up with the spider one would always bring me back to the uh, sizzler portal so hopefully this works out now perfect at the spider farm and will it go back excellent all right so we got that all handled two new portals and i'll have to knock the one that's way up there for the old version of the spider one i could actually even possibly leave it in because it'll probably still bring me there but I'm going to work on this for a little bit and get it all safe, and we will be back. All right. Well, I'm still messing around to see if I can get it how I like it. But this is what I have right now. 
Um, I moved the portal back a couple spots just because I really didn't like how it transitioned in. I'm still a little iffy on it, but you do have a little bit of leeway as far as how you place portals. And then I put this so that I have an exit uh, into the nether, which I didn't really have before. So it's kind of nice, and I can expand upon it moving this way. And of course, as our world grows, our system of uh, nether portals is going to grow as well. But my pick just broke, so I think that's going to about do it for me futzing around with this today. So I did that one, and then over here... I was playing around with this. I don't know if I like it. I may have to make this another one wider. Because I didn't really like the doorway. Just being two by one. One by two, however you'd say it. But I could match it up with that. It might look better. And then I was playing around with these columns. Seeing if I liked it better like that. And I don't know. So, anyway. And then over here... We have this one, and it goes right down into the uh, portal for the spider eye farm. So, anyway, uh, I think that's going to about do it for nether portals this episode. I'm getting pretty sick of doing it. But uh, I think I should make a new pick, and we'll move on to the next bit of business. Oh man, they are crazy! We're a little over that time. No biggie though. Let's get this nice pickaxe going. Oh man, I've said it once, I'll say it a hundred freaking times. I cannot wait until they got the new enchanting system! Oh my god! That was pretty lucky. Alright, here we go. One, two, three! What? That's cool and that sucks at the same goddamn time. Why couldn't it be efficiency four at least? Wow. Like a freaking idiot, I came back and I forgot to bring my other tools. I left them in the end. Oh no. Yeah, but I'm just looking. I have two efficiency fives left, and then all the rest of them I pretty much worn down. I wanted to bring these back to the end anyway, just so that when I enchant a pickaxe, um, if it's just like a uh, unbreaking three something like that, I can re-enchant it, just because that is such a garbage, freaking uh, pick. So I think I'm going to go head back there and I'll try, I'm going to re-enchant this one right here. Let's see how that works. Can I, can I fix it just like this? Let's see. That one's just about done. Yeah. See? And there I get now an unenchanted pickaxe and I can try and re-enchant it. So, alright. In fact, I might even do... I have two of these. I have no need for two of them. Let's redo this one as well. Alright, so I guess we'll re-enchant these guys and head back there. Alright, here's another level 50. All I really want is an efficiency 4 or 5. And... Mother F. <laughs> All right, wish me luck this time. Let's hope that it's a little bit better. Screw 50. Screwing me over every time. There we go. All right, if I don't get it this time, I am going to have to kill somebody. Wow, the exact same enchantment as last time. Moo. Moo. You're so annoying. Oh, my God. So what do you say, guys? About time to... Slaughter the cows! I went through uh, some of my older swords and I actually found I did have a looting, a couple looting threes. So, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and let's get us some hamburgers. 
Oh yeah. Beautiful. Die, you cow scum. No, you may not leave. No. Oh, and I needed this so bad. I was getting really low on mistakes. So, but a lot of people, um, I've, I've gotten some really cool um, ideas from a couple of other people for uh, modifications to do to this. Um, does seem to be like it's going to be a bit of work. Um, not super... Uh, super intensive but adding a couple more pistons in um the ideas were to put in up on top like a a buffer for the uh the loading so that you don't have to reset it every time like when i do this i have to wait for the cows to go all the way up and it does take a bit of time so like for this right here do i have any wheat on me all right good after giving these two little moo moos their wheat, they have the kid, and it resets, and now I gotta wait about 20 seconds for the cows to go back up and reload. So it's a pretty good idea for that. And then also an automatic, as soon as I do that, have the next ones go in so that you can just constantly go and feed them. And then the other thing that I saw was for. Oh, you're so cute. Um, what was it? To have a cooker down here, but I kind of like have using the looting sword a little bit better because you get so much more. I mean, we got almost two stacks of meat right there. So that would not be possible. I think they may have more drops soon i don't i can't remember if that was this or xbox i think the the cows or the pigs or both or some of them are going to get uh better drops for their meat which would be very nice but then the looting still would probably yield even more so i don't know i don't know anyway anyways today i wanted to try and do a bit of caving to light up some more areas but I'd also ugh, I keep doing this I meant to leave this stuff at the freaking ender farm I am just really spaced out today I know I know I know I know all right so anyway um I'd like to find an alternative way to figure out how we're going to fill up this ocean. Um, it seemed about 50% of you did, didn't did mind if I used the whole um, sand generators that I showed you in the last episode. And that would be by far the easiest way to do this and the quickest um, to f try and fill in the ocean so that we can make our base bigger. But... Um, I, I definitely have reservations about it as well, being, you know, I, I'm trying to play as strictly uh, to vanilla Minecraft as I can, which I, I is still arguably, um, you know, if you can do it without a mod or anything, uh, I don't really think it's a cheat. Like, I did do the x-ray um in an earlier episode but to be honest i didn't really use it for much of anything we used it to find melon which i mean come on now how hard is it to find melon and it was really more just to try and get things going faster and you know also just to show off that you could do it but did i really use it or need it no and i really don't see that big of a problem with the x-ray i mean i don't know it, it is different um, whereas with this sand generator, I still, I wouldn't be using it for the blocks and then building with the blocks. It's just to fill in our ocean biome so that we can make our base bigger. But enough of you didn't want to see it to where I'd like to try and come up with an alternative, um, which I think is going to be 
some type of piston lava design. I was going to wait until we had the, um, the whole dispenser thing that's coming out in the next update to do this, but I really want to find out how long it would take to do now, because if it's not going to be realistic, then I definitely am going to do the sand generator. It's just this is something I want to do, and I, I'm sure you guys don't want to wait a month for me to fill this in uh, between episodes. So it's, it's really more for your benefit than mine. But anyway, I'm going to try and figure out what would be a decent setup for this whole lava thing, and uh, maybe test it out a little bit today, and then hopefully get to some uh, caving. So let me mess around with that for a bit, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So here is my first attempt at it, and it is definitely a failed attempt. But let me show you what I have. Um, this one was kind of cool. I was trying to be uh, resource-friendly, and if you haven't been able to tell yet by now, I am in a creative version of my world. Um, but anyway, this one is all started from one lava source block and it just goes down every three and goes down one lower and then sprouts off the problem with it is uh the time that it takes for lava to um to go away um is just way too long i've had this off turned off for about 20 minutes already and as you can see it's only the first couple ones um, stopped. So this, although it works, it would take way too long between um, layers to uh, start up and stop. But pretty neat. You can really spread lava far. With water, it works real quick. But of course, water does nothing. So not completely to waste. Kind of neat to see. But um. I am going to start on my next design where we're going to have to actually, for each uh, lava stream coming down, set up a uh, separate piston on-off switch. Alright, now here's a look at the next design I made. And again, these are all just rough copies, just messing around, trying to see what would be good. But um, anyway, this one, they're spaced nine apart, nine, nine blocks apart. And then they have varying rotating sides for where the lava would come out. I haven't loaded the lava yet, but it's kind of neat. All the pistons are hooked together. So now they all extend. And this would be holding the lava back. And then they all open. So let me fill it up with lava. And I think if we do this, this will be the way that we go. Um, the spacing that I have, finally, it doesn't really miss any of the water blocks. Kind of frustrating because lava, although, yeah, it, it has the source block and then it can move three over. Sometimes you can't get it to move exactly the way that you want it and the way it should move. But um, anyway, I'm going to fill them all up with lava and then we'll take a look at what it looks like. All right, she's all filled up and the sun's going down right now, so actually interesting i want to make sure that this i was hoping that and it should be able to provide enough lighting for itself because of all the lava where no mobs should be able to spawn on these um rows here but let's find out for sure and then we will activate her now what i want to know and i'm kind of I, i'm really afraid of doing this because if something goes wrong or if I end up not liking how it works out, it's going to severely damage this biome and what everything looks like. And it's going to be even more of a pain in the ass to fix it. So I have to really make sure that I get this set up the way that I want it. And um, again, this being sort of a trial thing right here so that we can learn what to do and what not to do. What I'll probably have to do is go around and make exact borders of where I want everything to be so that it, the lava falls into that nicely. But right now it's going to have kind of a zigzag, I'm assuming, outline. But anyway, I don't see any mobs spawning there, which is perfect because that's the other frustrating thing while doing this. 
Um, there's going to be a lot of mobs spawning in this area. But are you ready? Let's see what she looks like. And three, two, one. Zhoo. Awesome. It's really cool looking. But I want to know if anyone has any other alternative suggestions to this on how to fill in this biome without using a sand generator. What would be, is there any other really good alternative ways? And I thought about it for a little while. I think that this is probably going to be the fastest, although it's still going to take a long, long, long time. But it seems to be working out well. There's a couple spots. It takes a little while to fill in. But we'll see. Couple spots. All right, that one filled up over there. Let's see if it just needs to a little more time to fill in over here. A little bit of water still there. You see, the lava just doesn't always flow perfect. All right, perfect. And then what about over here? Awesome. As you can see, in this side I had the border. So by doing this all the way around, it should be able to fill in exactly the way I want it. Is there any more water spots? Not seeing them. So I think that worked. The spacing is perfect. Awesome. All right, let's turn her off. And it does take still about five or ten minutes for all the lava to dissolve but all on all off and i'm going to shut this off and come back in a couple minutes once most of it's dissolved all right we're at now the 15 minute mark so this has taken a bit longer than i thought it would um probably got about 80 percent all dried up, all depleted, so that's good. But some of these areas just want to go on for freaking ever. My God, so definitely, if we choose to do this, going to have to find some other good stuff to keep us busy over here. Luckily, we have plenty of room for that. So, yeah, I'll see you back when it's done. My God. God, lava is annoying. Um, so we're over 20 minutes, about 22 or 3 minutes in. And there's still lava, but it's no big deal because this is low enough amount that I'd be able to start with the next phase of this. Which is actually, believe it or not, going to be the longer part. And that is going to be getting out my pickaxe and cutting up all this cobblestone. So that would probably take, I don't even know how long, good long while. So this is going to be a long work in progress, but it's manageable. I definitely think I can do it, and I'm motivated enough to want to have our base bigger. Because I really want to add in a lot more stuff, which we don't have room for. So anyway, with this, just knock it all out and then rinse and repeat. All right, so don't have too much time left. So I'm probably going to have to edit the crap out of this and just show the highlights. But I really wanted to go exploring for a while now. Um, this is right by the, uh, the spider spawner. These ravines. So let's go check it out. Made a bunch of potions to try and make this a bit quicker. That's pretty cool. That nice little lava lake over there. We got, ooh, looky, looky there. That torch is totally unneeded. Anywho, let me get this speed potion going. I brought some fire potions so we can go exploring down there. But let's get this diamond. Weak. Weak. Come on, man. You're Fortune 3. What the heck? Why 
are you choking like that? Well, that was pretty weak. I hate when the fortune fails you. Alright, so bad fortune so far. Let's see how we do in this redstone. Noise, and we're going to need a lot of this if we want to do that whole lava project I was showing you before. What do we have over here? Uh, creeper. That's what I forgot. I forgot my freaking bow. Damn it. I always forget something these days. Just absent-minded. It's over here. Why are you all lit up? Ooh, more lava. Come here, you zombie. Whoa. This really freaking is enormous. And yes, that is what she said. I'm almost afraid now. I'm going to go back and get my bow. Come here, Mr. Creeper. Who's creeping on who this time, huh? Huh? Eat it. Die! Get out of here, skeleton. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. You bag of bones. Come here. How dare you, sir. Ooh. Nice redstone. See it? See it? Beautiful. Uh, give me my gold! Dare you take my gold. That's my gold. Ow! I challenge you to a duel. Come here. You. Where are you? Ay! Stop sneaking up on me, you boner face. Gargantuan, I say. Ooh. Lapis. Come here, creeper. That's right. Eat my sword. Ow, you prick. Where the hell did all these caves come from? Oh my god. I'm gonna need more freaking torches. Better start getting some coal. I spy a little nook. Ow! Stop getting stuck in the walls, damn it. Ah! Sweet, it's a dungeon! Come here. Come here. What kind of dungeon do we have? Skelly dungeon. Nice. One of the few ones that we haven't done yet. We did zombie spider. And then we have skelly. What do we get? Eh, pretty mediocre. If you do ask me. Let's dump out some of the crap we don't need. One, two, three. Holy mother of God, this is huge. Uh. All right. Ow! Stop it. All right, let's take care of Mr. Kripa. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Huh? Ha 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 ha, you got caught in the lava. That is really weird. Just jizzing out of the wall there. What? Was there just one? You had to be kidding me. What? It was a waste of time. Onward to the massive cave system. What happened here? Did I shoot somebody there? Mushrooms! <gasps> you scared me with your eyes. Freak. No! Oh, thank. Oh, fruit nut. 
That was dumb. I gotta go. Slow down just a bit. Going a little too fast for myself. Get out of here. Go away. Nobody likes you. You're a spider, and spiders are scary. God, this just goes on forever. Hmm. Hey. Oh, diamond. Get away from my diamond. You too, that's my diamond. Go away. Go away! How dare you try and get close to my diamond! No! Get away, you green freak. Good lord! Where are you coming from? Get out of here! I see you. I know you think I don't see you, but I see you. <gasps> Stop it. Ooh. Nice one. Nice one. Good lord! When do you freaking end? <gasps> That was a close one. That was a close one. How'd you get down there? Get out of there. Ooh, jackpot. Alright, back to searching for my freaking diamonds. Watch. Tracking me, creeper. You better not be. Whoa! That was a big drop. There's my diamond. Woo! About freaking time. Alright, what do we have to deal with here? Yeah, good thing I didn't just dig you out. Cause I would feel very stupid right now if I did. Let's get you blocked off. That should be good enough. Alright, any more diamonds hidden in here? No, but we got redstone. All right, I'm curious to see what is right up here. Let's find out where this takes us. Wow! We went pretty freaking far. Right there is the sand quarry. My god, those are huge. That whole thing. That should take us... Yep. Oh, I never got rid of this. I'll get that later. Wow. So this will take us back down to the spider farm. My god. I think I will bring it down here. That went really far, and we still have so much to freaking explore more. We have 
all this area down here too. Should we do that today? Let me dump out my stuff. We'll peek down there real quick. And then we'll finish the rest off later. Not bad. Look at all that lapis. A couple stacks of redstone. 31 gold. Almost two stacks of iron. More lapis. Only three diamond. That was pretty weak. We didn't get lucky with our diamond in that one. But, alright. Do I really, really need this? I'm not going to bring you. Just because I don't want to lose you by mistake. Alright, let's check out what's over here. Hey, Mr. Skelly. I'm going to whoop your butt. Yeah, eat that. Yeah. Right, let's see. This may or may not expand that more. Guild. Guild. All right, well, that was pretty simple. That's a pretty nice little vein of gold there. My god, the never-ending vein of gold. All right, I'm just going to strip out this iron, and I think we will head back. Wait a minute, what's this go to? What does this go to? Ooh, more stuff. Oh, oh my god! No, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. God damn it. I need some milk. Let's get some torches down in this biatch. No, no, go away, go away. No, 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 no. I hate these things. In case you did not know. Go away. No. It's really clever how they have their whole little web thing, though, to make you go through. I think it's one of the more fun spawners to try and maintain control of. What's down here? Wow, we got a lot we haven't explored yet. And out of torches, of course. Ooh, I thought I saw something green. <gasps> I did, I did. Yep. Where are we? I'm very disoriented now. I think... I can't tell. So, there's apparently a lot more of, uh, <laughs> of this, uh, what, what are these called? Abandoned mine shafts that, going down that way that I have not explored yet. So, I think we'll continue that, probably to start off with, in the next episode, finish exploring over there. But, uh, anyway, guys, time to call it quits for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to let me know what you think about that whole uh, lava thing for uh, expanding the base. And if you have any other better suggestions or ways of doing it. And uh, yeah, peace out.